Hi everyone, welcome to the Buff and Beyond Research Saturday Market Recap Letter, and this is for April 27th, 2024. And remember, if you want to live on the beach like Jimmy Buffett once did, you've got to learn how to invest even better than Warren Buffett does now. And this week, well, the market went through what is probably a bottoming process, which usually confounds just about everyone. And Thursday, the market was in horrible condition as, as Meta's forward guidance was not what the market wanted. But then Microsoft and Google came to the rescue and led a great Friday rally. It's all to the end of the month, which is usually bullish for the overall market. And this week's stock analysis video, well, Google rocked the market with great news and helped propel this market market up nicely on Friday. Google itself is up over 10% for the day. And the tech sector is back on fire. The, the semiconductor sector is just rocking it. Now our ETF video, tech, semis, and the QQQs are all sending us buy signals. We are removing some of our hedges and buying more Microsoft. And let's look at the S&P 500. And as we are writing this, which is just before the close of the market, we can see where the market came down and just had a punishing punishing six or seven days in here where it just kept falling and falling then it went up and thursday came back down and look at this but it didn't even touch this bottom line once again and then friday with the news from thursday about microsoft and google the market just took up and now we are sitting on the 20-day moving average right in here and down here yep we can see this indicator starting to turn up we really need confirmation of this blue line crossing over this red line which may come very very soon because it's the end of the month and what happens at the end of the month we usually get a down day and then all of a sudden the market goes into rally mode because all the money has to come into those 401k plans and other pension plans and has to be put to work on the first and second day of the new month so that's why we expect this to turn up and usually when the blue line down here gets far enough away from the red line and then turns up that's a good indication that this will keep going up and the blue line will cross over that red line and we'll get out of this oversold territory and then when we look at a larger chart of the s p 500 we are looking at the decline in here and then the move up to the 20 day this green line 20 day moving average came back down again almost to touch this level well it did below just a little bit below the 5000 level right in here but up here this indicator came all the way down touched this bottom line went back up and then thursday when the market came down very very hard right in here this indicator did not move very far down and then friday took off and is now sitting at that mid line there and that's a good sign folks and down here you can see it even a little bit better where this black line wants to go up and cross over that red line to the upside giving us an intermediate term buy signal as soon as it does and when we look at the QQQs, we're seeing the exact same thing. They almost look identical. And we can see the QQQ is above that 20-day exponential moving average, turning up. And then down here, we can see that turning up of the intermediate term indicator. We want to see that black line cross that red line. And with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, well, we actually see this black line down here crossing over that red line so the dow is not up as much today as the qqqs and the s p 500 but folks it's up nicely so that we'll take whatever we can get and for portfolio protection well last week our april which you don't see here our april put expired and we went out and bought the january 19th spy 425 put and so this is about 135 thousand one hundred forty thousand dollar portfolio protected with three puts which is what we need for that size portfolio and notice how we stagger them out so if the market starts going down and it usually wants to go down around options expiration so some of our insurance will just disappear and insurance gets very very expensive at a point like that that's why we go out for three months and keep it nice 
and organized so that we'll always have some protection on. So folks, we had a very, very, very tough week this week. The market was in the bottoming process, which really affects everybody because you get an up day, you get a down day, you get an up day as it goes through that bottoming process and it's very, very difficult. But with Friday's action, it looks like we may have something, may see a little weakness on Monday. And then with the last day of April on Tuesday, then we should see some rocking and rolling in this market heading to the upside and heading into May. So folks, you go out. We had a tough week, but boy, things are starting to look good. So go out, enjoy yourself, go for a walk, be with your loved ones, have a Sunday dinner with your family. And don't forget, even though you're watching this sunrise on the beautiful Atlantic Ocean, it has calmed down an awful lot since our picture last week. So folks, go out, have a good time, stay safe, and we'll see you back here this coming week.